with thee, O heavenly King, comfort your spirit of truth, who are ever our cousin, and fill us for all things. Treasury of good things, and giver of life, undivided in us, and cleanse us of all impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Mine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, not two ages, but ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Our King, O Lord, into thy righteousness, attend unto my supplication. Give ear unto my prayer, which cometh not from deceitful lips. From before thy face, let my judgment come forth, let thine eyes behold thy brightness. Thou hast proved my heart, thou hast visited it in the night. Thou hast tried me by fire, and in righteousness was not found in me. That my mouth might not speak the works of men, the sake of the words that I lips, and I kept the ways that are hard. Set my footsteps in thy path, that my steps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast hardened unto me, O God, and climb my nerve to be imparted unto my word. Let thy mercies be made wonderful, and thou who savest them that open thee. From them that do resist to thy right hand, keep me, O Lord, as the apple of thy mind. In the shelter of thy wings wilt thou shelter me from the face of the ungodly which have oppressed me. Mine enemies have surrounded my soul, they have enclosed themselves with their own fat, their mouth has spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encircled me, they have set their eyes to look askance on the earth. They have taken me as my lion, ready for his prey, and as my lion dwelt that dwelleth in hiding. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their demons. Deliver my soul from ungodly men, my sword from the enemies of thy hand. O Lord, from thy beauty thou separate them from the earth and their life. Yea, with thy hidden treasures that were dwelt in the field. They have satisfied themselves with swine and have left the remnants to their babies. But as for me in righteousness shall I appear before thy face. I shall be filled with thy glory as made manifest to me. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul, and my God in thee have I trusted that thee never be put to shame, nor let my enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, let them have the glory of be put to shame, let them be ashamed which are lawless about cause. Make thy ways, O Lord, known unto me, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art God my Savior, for on thee have I raised all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies are there from everlasting. The sins of my youth and my ignorances remember not. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for the sake of thy goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, and therefore will he set a law for them that sin in the way. He will guide the meek in judgment, he will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth unto them that seek after his covenant and his testimonies. For the sake of thy name, O Lord, be gracious unto my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that feareth the Lord? He will set him a law in the way which he hath chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, and his covenant shall be manifested unto them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he it is that will draw my feet out of the snare. Look upon me, and have mercy on me, for I am one only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart multiply, and bring me out from my necessities. Behold my loneliness and my toil, and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for they are multiplied, and with an unjust hatred have they hated me. Keep my soul and rescue me, let me not be put to shame, for I have hoped in thee. The innocent and the upright have believed unto me, for I have waited on thee, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail in thy heart, John. For behold, I was conceived in the iniquities and in sins that my mother married. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom, hast thou made manifest unto me. 
Thou shalt sprinkle me with this, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made white as snow. Thou shalt make me hear joy and gladness, the bones that be one of they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Breathe me a clean heart, of God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, O God of my salvation, my tongue shall rejoice in my righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it. O Lord, God brings, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humble, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and let pleasure and design, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shall thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and holy offerings. Then shall they have the bullets upon thy altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Lord, save thy people and bless thy inheritance. Grant victories to the Orthodox Christians over their adversaries. And by virtue of thy cross, preserve thy habitation. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine, and that blossom forth for us the fruit of life. Thee do we supplicate and receive, O Lady, together with the holy apostles, that our souls find mercy. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be thy honor, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. As thou was voluntarily crucified for our sake, grant mercy to those who are called by thy name, O Christ God. Make all Orthodox Christians glad by thy power, grant them the victories over their adversaries. I bestowing on them the invincible trophy, thy weapon of peace. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and guide our life from thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts. Purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, and guard and guide by the right way. We may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou of the ages, of ages, amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and the amplitude of her more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God on earth, and very terrible, and most eagerly magnified. In the name of the Lord, Master, bless. The prayers of the Holy Father, Jesus Christ, and God, and Jesus, Amen. O Master God, the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, one God, and one power, have mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgments which thou knowest, save me, God, and Lord, your servant, for the blessed of thou, and the angels, and all the angels, and all the angels. O come, let us worship God, our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King, and our God. 
O God, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our being our God. O God, in thy name, save me in thy strength, do thou judge me. O God, hearken unto my prayer, give care unto the words of my mouth. For strangers are risen up against me, and my demon is not after my soul, and have not set God before themselves. For behold, God helpeth me, and the Lord is the protector of my soul. He will bring evils upon thy enemies. I believe this way that by thy truth, willingly really, shall I sacrifice unto the animal, which thy thine evil will work for this good. For out of the great affliction has thou delivered me, and mine eye put down upon my enemies. Give your own God unto my prayer, and disdain not my supplication, attend unto me, and hear me. I was grieved in my meditation, and I was troubled at the voice of the enemy, and at the oppression of the sinner. Because they have turned iniquity upon me, and their wrath when they angry against me. My heart is troubled within me, and the terror of death has fallen upon me. Here I shall be at home on these earth, and such unto me. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove, and I will fly and be at rest? Lo, I have fled far off and fallen in the wilderness. I waited for God that saved me from faith, hardness, and from tempers. Plunged into the depth of the Lord, and divided the tongues of bread, seeing it would be a game saved in the city. They and the people around the rock were upon the walls. The iniquity and toil and unrighteousness are in the midst of work, and he was ready to see if not departed from the streets. For if my enemy had the vow of the unwise to do it, and if he had taken me and spoken both the Lord against me, I might have hid myself from him. But thou hast also been out of the way, so I will be my God and my Savior. I will be my God and my Savior. In the house of God, I will be my God and my Savior. Let there come upon the earth one day, and let there come upon the earth one day. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. 
Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Pastor, pardon our name for these, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom of God, the Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now never have to be able to Amen. As thou hast voluntarily crucified for our sake, and mercy to those who are called by thy name, O Christ God. May the Lord and Christ Christians let by thy power granting them victories over their adversaries. By the sword of God, the invisible trophy, thy right hand of the kings. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have O Christ, God, who art long suffering, and peace, and mercy, who is compassionate, who loveth the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who calls for all the salvation and the promise of good things to come, receive, O Lord, our prayers in this hour, and guide our life with thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, may chase our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Come to us, God, by holy angels, and guard and guide 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 and Lord, we ask you to help us in the ages of the ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, be the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, for now, and the Lord, and the ages, and the ages. Amen. Lord, I will be the chairman of the Amsterdam, and the Lord has been a seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God, the Lord, and the very fair folk of Steve, we magnify. In the name of the Lord, the Master, we bless. Amen. Amen. O God, the Lord of hosts, the maker of all creation, who by the name of compassion and labor received the transcendent of comprehension, did send down that only the God and Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our race, and by his precious promises, bear us under the handwriting of our sins and our lives, by whom the prince of power is the power of the darkness. Do thou thyself, and thou the Lord of mankind, accept all the world's sins, bear us and thanksgiving, and deliver us under the destruction of the dark, and 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 the destruction of the dark, Hail now, our flesh of the fear of the end, and drive out of our sin, the Lord, and the thoughts of the evil. What fears our souls are calling you to the peace of the heaven, and the peace of the enemy, and guide you by our life, and the hope of the enemy. We have been born out of our lives, and God, we may shut out the seas, and pray for thanksgiving, and come. We have risen and fallen, and the devil, and the God, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of the ages. Amen.
precious cross of the Lord, thou art a mystical paradise of fair tokos, in which Christ
this, and unto us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world through wisdom did not know God, it pleased God through the foolishness of the message to them that believe. For the Jews require a sign, the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. But unto them that are all both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. <coughs> called in Hebrew Golgotha, 
where they crucified him and two others with him, one on either side and Jesus in the center. Now Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross, and the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Then many of the Jews heard this title, for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city, and it was written in Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing by, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour that disciple took her to his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, and bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. Therefore, because it was the preparation day, that the body did not pray the on the cross on the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was a high day, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken, and that they might be taken away. Then the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first, and of the other who was crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and immediately blood and water came out. And he who has seen us testify, and his testimony is true. Explained to the emperor that an angel of the Lord was blocking his way. 
Heraclius then removed his royal trappings and began to walk barefoot, since he who bore the cross for the salvation of the world had made this way the world of very healthy liberty. Heraclius then donned plain clothes, without further hindrance, carried the cross of Christ into the church. These events also have a mystical and symbolic meaning. But the cross is not only a symbol of victory, of the victory of Jesus Christ in the defeat of death. Indeed, it is. But it also reminds us that the way to salvation is through voluntarily taking up on ourselves the same way of self-denial and humility for God's sake, with faith, hope, and love. St. Innocent of Alaska explains, the word cross implies sufferings, sorrows, and adversities. To take up one's cross, St. Innocent goes on, means to accept and to bear unmurmuringly everything unpleasant, painful, sad, difficult, and oppressive that may happen to us in our life. And therefore, whenever anyone offends you, or laughs at you, or causes you weariness, or sorrow, or annoyance, or you've done something good, and instead of thanking you for it, they rise up against you and make trouble. Or do you want to do something good and you're not given the chance? Or some misfortune falls you, perhaps you fall ill, or your wife, or your children. <coughs> or with all your activity and untiring labor, you're still suffering from need and from poverty, and you're so hard up that you don't know how to make ends meet. Or besides this, you're in some other difficulty. Bear all of this, bear all of this, brothers and sisters, without malice, without murmuring, without criticism, without complaint. That is, without regarding yourself as offended or wrong, without expecting any earthly reward in return. Bear it all with love, with joy, and with firmness. And if you bear your sufferings with submission and surrender to the will of God, St. Innocent continues, and don't seek consolation anywhere except in the Lord, then in His mercy He will not abandon you and will not leave you without consolation. He will touch your heart with His grace and will communicate to you the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Then your heart will burn with pure love for God and for your neighbor. Brothers and sisters, if we're honest with ourselves, the truth is that sometimes we too lose the cross of Christ, like what happened in Jerusalem when the Persians came. Perhaps we've abandoned the path of righteous struggle and self-denial, <coughs> seeking comfort and self-satisfaction. Or perhaps we're drifting we're drifting in that direction. If so, it probably was never a conscious decision, but a sort of drifting, a loss of resolve, slowly acquiring a worldly way of thinking about money, about possessions, about pleasure or entertainment, about ourselves in general. But don't I deserve this kind of thinking, an attitude that focuses on my needs, on my wants. And in such a state, what can happen is we can come to a place of interior bitterness, complaining about others, and even murmuring against God. I go to church, I pray, I do these things. Why doesn't stuff work out the way I want it to? The error behind this thinking, brothers and sisters, is that it somehow implies that the purpose of life is to be happy at all times. And ultimately, because ultimately this, that somehow, we can start thinking, too, that it's God's job to fulfill my every desire. And we forget that this is the same sort of thinking that led to mankind's fall in the beginning. And ultimately, paradoxically, but ultimately leads to our own dissatisfaction and unhappiness in life. Whereas, the path of self-denial for the sake of Jesus Christ allows us to find true contentment and peace and joy in Him. He who finds his life will lose it. And he who loses his life for my sake will find it, says the Lord. If we don't feel this peace inside, if I feel discontent in my life, if I keep finding that fallen part of myself seeking comfort in the wrong places, then let us take up spiritual arms, brothers and sisters, to recover our cross, as did the emperor so long ago, that we may embrace the struggles in our life, not seeing them as torment, but as the means to holiness and salvation, as the means by which we follow our Lord Jesus Christ. Whether a cross is internal or external, the cross of loneliness or depression, the cross of physical illness 
or caring for someone who's ill, who crosses poverty, providing for others, whatever it may be. As Christians, we must not run from hardships that are for our salvation, but embrace them through the cross of Jesus Christ, that we may find salvation through them, and through the cross, find peace in our souls. As we sing and proclaim today, the cross of Christ is our hope. It is our victory over temptations, our guidepost pointing the way, our place of rest, and the resurrection of the dead. Resurrecting me when I feel dead inside, and resurrecting us all on the last day. Let us all find, recover, and exalt the cross of Jesus Christ in our life, that we may be true disciples of our crucified Lord, to whom be all glory, honor, and worship, together with his Father, who have everlasting, is all holy, good, and life in spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen.
Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of All America and Canada, most reverend metropolitans, archbishops and bishops, for the honorable priest of the diaconate in Christ, every priestly and monastic order, for this land of civil authorities and armed forces, for the peace of the whole world, the welfare of the holy churches of God, those who sing here, for those who with diligence and the fear of God labor and serve, for the healing of the sick, the repose, the part in the blessed memory, and forgiveness of sins of all the Orthodox who have fallen asleep, for the salvation of all the people here present, and of each of those that they have in mind, and for all
and every partake of the divine, the holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly life, creating awesome mysteries of Christ, that is worthy to give thanks and give the